Tenure note treasury yields continued to push higher today, hitting 133, the highest really in a year, going back the highest level we've seen in the last year, in calendar year, has been 158. So we are well off the one year high, but the highest since February of last year. Uh, 133 is where we are today, is the highs we got today. Uh, go back to September of last year, it's trading around 65 basis points. We started this ascent in yields, this rise in yields that we've seen a pretty steady move. So we pretty much doubled the yield that the 10-year note pays over the last five months. So at this point, uh, throw all those technicals out uh, out the window. Once we got it opened up on Sunday night of this week, we saw yields pop above 120. Since then, it's been a very much a sloppy trade. We've seen yields all back and forth, but technically moving higher, uh, seeing some moments where yields dip lower, but ultimately trending higher. And that seems to be the case again today. If you look at market volatility, we've kind of broken out of any range that we had. Remember, we looked at those nice ranges, those 20 basis point ranges over the last year or so. We kind of threw that by the wayside. Now we're seeing volatility at elevated levels that we haven't seen really since the election when we did see a spike higher in volatility. That's that's a natural given the fact that we had a big event. But over the course of time, we are very elevated going back to the beginning of last year, of 2020. We're at those levels seeing 10-year note yield, uh, implied volatility hovering around 4%. At this point, they've remained very directional to yields. The higher yields go, the higher volatility goes. When we see yields come off, we see volatility come off, but they remain elevated. We're no longer near those eking, uh, you know, sort of decade low levels that we were basically over the summer. So at this point, volatility can be a very good indicator. Higher vol means anticipation of higher yields. Lastly, let's talk about what the Fed said today. We got those minutes from that January uh, FOMC. Nothing really came out and no curveballs from the Fed today. Uh, they talked about keeping rates low uh, for a longer time. Obviously, the market's already priced that in. They also talked about keeping their asset purchasing programs in play and with the hopes that the stimulus and vaccine combined would help get the economy back on its sea legs. That's something that we're still waiting for. We continue to watch the job markets. We continue to watch the, the, uh, the retail sales, the inflation markets, excuse me, and that will continue to be a thorn in the Fed side, but not today. Inflation is not the problem today. It will be a problem down the road at some point that may be aiding into these higher treasury note yields. Likewise, so will the extra supply needed to pay for pay for all these plans. So at this point, 10-year note yields continuing to push higher after that big move on Sunday night, hitting 133. That's almost double from where we were when we started this rise back in September.